Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Um, here I speak about fragrances and basically today what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this tag uh, that is, uh, I think it's created by Claire Smith. Um, and basically she created this tag, it, the name is My Scent Memories and uh, my scent memories and I saw this tag as well in Veronica Says video recently so I actually promised to do the video for Claire and when I saw Veronica Says video I was kind of rushed to do it even faster so check out their both channels they both uh, have this beautiful video about my scent memories and this uh, tag doesn't require to hold any perfumes in your hand so it's actually just kind of like a chatting about those questions that uh, I have it in my hand I'm super prepared about this video and I will keep on going I want to say that um, you know in, around there are some road works so you might hear some sounds and uh, but myself I feel super comfortable so I hope you're gonna feel the same way so um, first of all even though we don't need to hold any perfume but actually I will still hold hold the perfume this is uh, Armani Armani code for man you know uh, I just tried this perfume recently I will do video about it uh, you know later on so far it didn't surprise me but let's start uh, with the questions but before that thank you very much Claire Smith for tagging me uh, she tagged uh, quite a few people there so if you are not sure you can check it out because probably you are tagged as well and uh, um, I will include the link of Claire Smith channel down below I really like her channel because she's uh, a unique person that actually speaks in a unique way about perfumes and it's never boring to listen to her to her point of views because she comes up with a new idea Yes, each time. So I'm very thankful uh, for, for Claire, to Claire Smith for tagging me, and please check out her channel in the description below. So um, let's um, uh, proceed with uh, the questions. But before that, I also would like to thank to Veronica uh, says as well uh, because um, she also uh, did this video about the same topic and uh, basically I would like to thank you for recently doing my tag as well and uh, like uh, please check out her channel as well because she has this beautiful channel about perfumes and her opinion is always super honest and I also am never bored to listen to her channel I discovered her actually not that long ago but I'm very like kind of um, every time I see her videos I'm eager to listen to them because uh, she is uh, speaking from 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 what she thinks you know she she don't follow whatever what uh, other people do but she speaks honestly through what uh, she thinks about perfumes so that's pretty much all what I would like to say and we can proceed with the question so this tag is my scent memories my scent memories and the first question is my first scent memory so uh, mm, my first scent memory is um, my my first perfumes that I got which were basically Cacharel Amor Amor it was a red bottle I got it in France um, that was my one it wasn't like first but it's one of the first perfumes and uh, that was my kind of memory that will stay with me for for long because first time I smelled Cacharel uh, amor amor uh, because one girl was wearing it and uh, there was like a huge projection from that perfume you know I was smelling uh, that perfume very often and I um, asked what she's wearing and then I got it myself and uh, the next time uh, my friend gave me a gift amor amor in a green bottle have you ever seen in the green bottle it's not very common to have a green bottle but actually it exists so that's my memory and also I have memories of cheaper perfumes as well that I used to wear as a teenager and I still have that perfume it's Christina is the name and I get compliments while wearing it although I cannot buy uh, you know uh, in the area that I am uh, living right now but I will always remember those perfumes so so uh, also so let's proceed with the, the other question but um, before that um, 
I would like to show you my scent of the day, which, which is actually Ragba. I really love this perfume. It's by Latafa. And basically, this perfume, it's very worth having. Uh, I have never received compliments but yet, but I'm complimenting myself all the time. And it's really unique fragrance from Middle Eastern uh, countries, you know, very good. Ragba by Latafa. So the next question is, the question would be, happiness smells like so happiness smells like for me happiness smells like eccentric molecules or one you know that's what it smells like because it's kind of happy vibrant scent that projects quite a lot it's not overpowering but people always notice and people always kind of ask uh, you know what you are wearing so eccentric molecules also from eccentric molecules it could be also um, zero three and zero two as well so that would be my happiness type of perfumes that I have. The next question that we have is um, heartbreak, loss, uh, smell like. So what type of smell would represent a loss or heartbreak, you know? Like, um, I'm not really into this question to be honest, like, but uh, for me, like, loss would probably smell like perhaps when somebody dies and you can smell the, you know, those flowers that comes with the pines, you know, those type of flowers that people put, let's say, in the cemetery. So that's probably what the type of smell would represent, uh, like a loss. And friendship smells like friendship. Friendship smells like... I never thought about it uh, before. Probably I would choose like a sweet perfume, you know, something sweet, you know, let's say, it's not for me, but let's say perhaps Ariana Grande, you know, type of perfumes, because they are kind of sweet, coconut, coconutty. Mimosa Cloud by Zara, that's how, have, you know, friendship would smell like. Even as well, eccentric molecules or one would be as well. And um, let's see what other perfume I have right here. Uh, let's see what do I have. Uh, I also would like to show you this perfume, it's uh, for man, polar black, I really like this perfume, it's super simple, versatile and sporty as well. The other uh, question that I have is the success, success, uh, success smells like what? So success smells like probably something maybe classy let's say if I would like Dolce & Gabbana the one maybe that's how it would be success uh, but I don't like those perfumes uh, so I would choose success let me say successful perfume this is such a great question no success you know what perhaps it would be this one I think success might be as uh, would mood you know could be but also I will show this perfume later on as well because I would also describe it in another question success so the worst smell the worst smell I don't like the smell of Cacharel um, this Ane uh, Ane uh, Ane Cacharel Ane Ane and there is Cacharel green one which is what's the name of Cacharel green one I don't remember the name of Cacharel Green one, guys. What's that smell? Is it li, li, uh, begins with L? L. L I forgot now, but you know Cacharel Green one or Cacharel Anyanya. They both smell similar to me, and I don't like those type of smells. My ideal vacation smells like. My ideal vacation smells like. Let me think about it. I don't know how it smells like, but my ideal vacation pro probably would be in Thailand, in Thailand. So when you are in Thailand, uh, I don't know what you smell like. I don't know, it's a bit, this question is a bit hard to understand. Like nothing. When I'm on a vacation, I... I wear same perfumes that I normally wear, you know, maybe eccentric molecules or two would do as well. My house smells like, I don't spray my house with perfumes because um, I only spray them when I go out somewhere. Because I don't want to, uh, like, uh, spray in, you know, in the air some chemicals, like, so I don't want to inhale them, you know, so I don't, I don't spray perfume in my house uh, just to smell something. I don't use essential oils in my house. I don't burn any incense 
it's because then I don't feel that the quality in the air is fresh so my house doesn't smell like any perfume mm, it could sometimes smell like food if I'm cooking something let's say if I'm cooking fish then it will smell like a fish so sometimes but once the smell is go away then it's gone you know so I don't uh, spray perfume in my house just to uh, keep my house you know with some kind of scent so I don't do that first thing smell first thing I smell in the morning I always smell coffee in the morning because that's my thing to do I really like coffee so I definitely smell coffee first thing in the morning uh, another perfume that I would like to show you and I know that I, I never showed this perfume yet but I know that uh, Claire Smith was speaking about the, the, you know uh, alien type of perfume I want to show you this perfume this perfume I, I'm not really into I don't like these type of fragrances um, uh, but I need to do review one time alien uh, I mean it smells it smells nice but I feel kind of it's uh, old-fashioned type of perfume you know so the next next question is last thing I smell at night um, at night last thing I smell is my cream that I put on the face so like let's say Vichy, Vichy I use Vichy creams uh, and Bioderma, Bioderma doesn't have any smell uh, Vichy and um, you know like probably in the cream that is any scent that's what I smell the last thing I go uh, to bed I don't use perfume before I go to bed because I don't want to put any chemicals uh, you know before I go to bed because I usually put perfumes when I just start my day because uh, when the day starts then it's time to put perfume you know um, first thing, last thing, okay, the smell I love that others don't, the smell I love that others don't, I think I really, I really like Middle Eastern perfumes, you know, uh, Middle Eastern Latafa perfumes, some, many people like it, but some people don't like it, because they are a bit too strong, you know, um, they are, they are a little bit too strong, those, those perfumes, so, um, and then the last question is, I smell like, um, I smell like a different each day, a different each day, but if I would need to choose one perfume, um, I would choose Eccentric Molecules 01 or Iso E Super. And I was told that that smell suits me very well, and normally I receive a lot of compliments with that perfume, but normally on a day I... Uh, basically use um, different perfumes. Recently I use a lot of Latafa perfumes. So I smell like Eccentric Molecules, Latafa perfumes and Zara perfumes uh, as well. Um, now this, uh, these questions already finished and thank you very much for these beautiful questions. I really enjoy to do this tag and uh, I think these questions are very nice to talk about. I'm not used to, you know, like uh, only talking and not holding perfumes so for that reason you know I was holding perfumes like that because I really like it but this tag is actually quite minimalistic and perhaps if you do this tag then it will save your money you know uh, because mostly uh, we need to do videos that uh, we need to you to hold the perfume in the hand so right now it's time to tag few people and actually um, because I'm ready to this video so I will tag uh, few people so uh, first person that I would like to tag is Bro Sense uh, if you would like to do this tag uh, Bro Sense uh, and Bro Sense has a channel uh, that basically he puts a lot of effort in and um, a lot of a lot of effort for that reason I would recommend you to support uh, Bro Sense and uh, uh, if you Bro Sense are interested in doing this tag because it's very easy to do uh, give it a go and another person that I would like to tag is Daniel San so Daniel San is a very supportive person very supportive person uh, probably the most supportive that I I seen yet you know and uh, I I really recommend you guys to check out um, that. Daniel San, Bro Sense channels, just to, to subscribe, just in case if you are not yet. And um, so Daniel San, if you would like to do this tag as well, it's super easy to do because uh, you, you know there's no need to hold actually perfumes. Like we just need to talk. The third per person that I would like to tag is Centaur Fragrance. Centaur Fragrance, I think it was my 
first one of the first uh, like or maybe third or fourth subscriber you know when I just had my channel you know created uh, some time ago so I really record uh, you know I really remember S sent out fragrance has a channel and he really has this ability to talk about perfumes in a very in, in the way that is interesting to listen to and it's very in, in not like a in, in, you know in not official way but he's talking uh, you know that is um, basically he has this ability to talk about perfumes in and to describe perfume from um, many point of view and I really recommend you to have a look at, at his channel is Centaur Fragrance so if you would like to do Centaur Fragrance this tag um, feel free to do that uh, another person that I would like to tag is Elżbieta Rogowska she's a new uh, actually she's a, a new friend that I got uh, actually first time I met her in in uh, on Instagram and then I subscribed to her channel as well and she did as well so it's um, if you are interested to do this tag have a look as well at the questions the other person that I would like to tag is Sam, Sa Sam Sal uh, she has this always beautiful setting you know of, of perfumes and I really like her setting Sam Sal uh, you know the setting that she do in the videos like she do these like um, n nails and she do perfume videos and cosmetic as well and it's very each time is something different so it's very interesting to see uh, her videos uh, another person that I would like to tag is Eloisa, she used to be called as Montes de Oca, but actually Eloisa MDO. Have a look at uh, uh, Sam's Sal and Elo Eloisa's channel and Elzbieta Rogowska channel. I will put their link below. And Eloisa, she's doing videos in English and and Spanish, so she's a multilingual person and she's a very honest person as well. So for that reason, it's always very nice to, to listen to videos, you know. And another person, another super honest person is C. Uh, Chronicles, Talking Sense. I'm pretty sure you know you know uh, who she is, uh, or if not yet, have a look at her channel. She speaks about Middle Eastern perfumes many, many times. For that reason, I really like her channel because I can relate how much I like, uh, you know, the Tafa perfume. So I always, uh, when there is like a video, you know, I always... Uh, look at her channel so always and have a look guys at her channel as well if you in case you are not so see chronicles if you would like to do the this tag please do that if you are interested and um Another another three people that I would like to tag is Moody Boo, the fragrant nomad. She just changed her name, as I see recently. And Moody Boo, you know, she's another honest person. Like, and I always subscribe to these people because, like, I don't like to be subscribed to to people who are like, let's say, pretending to be someone or or whatever. So I really like Moody Boo type of way of doing things because she's kind of you know doing them casually just like all of us and kind of you can feel the real person behind the screen so Moody Boo if you are interested to do this this tag have a look at the, the questions if you are interested and uh, the last two people I would like to uh, last but not the least I would like to um, to recommend you guys to sub subscribe to Randoms and Local Christina so Randoms is uh, <laughs> she's again super honest person you know and I like her accent I don't know where she from but I really like her accent and I really like her optimism in videos that uh, I can relate you know so have a look at her channel and she do cosmetic uh, sometimes review perfumes mostly and some other type of um, reviews local Christi Christina she's a new friend and I met her on Instagram and basically local Christina um, she tagged me one time you know on Instagram so now I would like to return tag and tag you local Christina in these questions if you are interested to have a look at local Christina channel you know uh, she's as I understand she's new um, so have a look at her channel and um, so to support her as well so that's all guys uh, I think this tag supposed to be in around made in around 20 minutes you know and I was afraid that I will not be able to make it because it's so much minutes you have to talk to so it's kind of like a cha challenge that you can do as well and uh, thank you very much guys for for listening to me I don't know whoever was staying until the end uh, write me the message if you did or uh, if not uh, I also appreciate as well so thank you very much guys what was your scent of the day today mine was um, 
as I said before, mine was Ragba. Ragba was my sentence of the day. And today we have a very, very rainy day uh, and a very loud uh, day outside because there is a lot of road wars. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I will come back to you very, very soon and uh, stay safe and bye bye everyone.